Hello, my name is Travis Christian North. I'm a thermal technologist with Dell Technologies and my focus is power, cooling, and performance. Excited to be with you guys today. We're gonna to talk about um, our Alienware products, specifically our X-Series and all the cool thermal innovations we have basically developed for this product to help you game. So Cryotech is our engineering approach to cooling and the focus of Cryotech is at packaging the hardware and software to give you the ultimate gaming experience. We don't wanna limit you. When we looked at our previous generation of products, the increase in power associated with CPUs, GPU boost, we realized that the thermal resistance of the interface material, the grease, was one of the limitations or the key limitation in our products. Looking at fundamental physics, we identified that we needed to increase the thermal capacitance and thermal conductivity. Researching this, we went to the approach of using a liquid metal and optimizing the product to ensure that we could get the energy out and into the liquid metal while limiting any of the downsides of liquid metal TEMS. Gallium by itself with aluminum is corrosive. The additives typically oxidize and you can lose performance over time. We approached this problem, identified a new material which is a silicon encapsulated gallium to give us all the benefits of liquid metal and limit the negative impacts of oxidation in the platform. Through this approach, we have an Alienware exclusive material called Element 31. Element 31 gives us that capability to really drive that energy out from the CPU into a thermal tunnel. The gallium collapses and creates a pathway into the base of the heat sink or the heat pipe itself. The material is great. If you look at the overall performance over the previous generation, it was a 7.6 C reduction in junction temperature, and it was over a 13 watts or of additional power we could support on the program itself. So we're excited, it's an Alienware exclusive and it's gonna help you game longer. I'm excited to talk about another part of Cryotech. When we talk about hardware, it comes to fans. Independent of the liquid metal TEM, the second key factor in our analysis was maximizing airflow through the box. The motherboard itself was one of the limiting items. By shrinking the motherboard, we allowed space for four fans. In particular, if you look at our 17 inch product, it, we could place a 95 millimeter fans in the back. Our 15 inch product was an 82. Those fans, as far as placement and location, gave us the opportunity to optimize airflow through the system. Those fans, in addition, they're not just any fans. They're liquid crystal polymer fans, and they actually run on 12 volts. The 12 volts is more efficient from an overall power perspective, giving us the capability to burst performance through the box while maintaining airflow. Those four fans, additionally, the back two are dual outlet, where they exhaust out the back and the side of the system. We have a third patented Dell fan called dual opposite outlet. This fan is in very unique in that the impeller is maximized and it allows airflow to blow out through a fin stack, but it also positively pressurizes the box to cool the internal components. For this particular system, the M.2s are located in front of that fan, so we are using the dual outlet, dual opposite outlet fan to cool the M.2s and exhaust out the other side of the system. Further, if you look at the layout of the system, we've optimized the venting structure, the impedance, the foot height and foot location to streamline airflow through the box where most of the pressure resistance for those fans are located in the fin stack itself. In addition, we have what we call smart fan control. Each one of those fans is tuned off dedicated sensors within the board. The DOO fan, for example, is tuned off the M.2 and individual components within the modules of the system. That allows us to pressurize the system and cool the skins. The additional fans, like the back two rear fans, are primarily focused on CPU and GPU. We can burst cooling when we need it while keeping acoustics low to optimize performance for you to keep you gaming. In addition to hardware, the software is just as important. So if we look at the software innovations we had with Cryotech in this generation on our X-Series, the independent smart fan control was critical to managing the quad fans or the four solutions. What happens is the board, the motherboard itself, we have distributed sensors along the boards, CPU, GPU, M.2, various components on the board to optimize control of each individual fan. The DOO, the dual opposite outlet fan, is focused on cooling the M.2 modules and skins through the core of the system. The back rear two fans, the dual exhaust fans, not the dual opposite outlet fans, are controlled off the CPU and GPU. In addition to the smart fan control, we have tailored power states. This one I'm excited about. In BIOS, you have the capability to basically tune, do you want primary CPU performance or GPU, and you can bias it. So if you're running VR workloads, and let's say you're doing something that's heavy frame rate intensive, maybe we wanna focus on the GPU, it gives you that capability. Similarly, if you're doing rendering digital content creation, you can bias the overall power share towards the CPU itself. 
so you can do the data crunching that you need. It gives you the flexibility to tune the system for what you need to do. Yeah, as you can see from the amount of innovation and technology from hardware and software, we have had an extensive team that put our heart and soul into these products. And we would love to continue the conversation with you on social media. So please reach out if you have any questions.